Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises, honor, respect, blessings, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. I also give salutations to the Lord's elect, waiting patiently for Yahweh Shai to come back, and also preaching the gospel of Yahweh Shai, of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And I also give double honors to our apostles, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakha Kodash. Was Abba Bivens Elijah? That is the question and also the title of this video, as this lesson will be about Abba Bivens. Now, without further ado, I'm gonna get right into it. So before I start this lesson, before you can understand, you know, who's who, you must first understand that reincarnation is in the Holy Scriptures. Reincarnation is real, and there's no such thing as YOLO, which is an acronym for you only live once as many people believe that okay so reincarnation is real everybody has been on this planet multiple times before in the past so was Abba Bivens Elijah well we're gonna find out we're gonna find the answer to that in this video so First off, I would like to start with Malachi chapter 4, verse 5. Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Now, the first thing I would like to do, because it said in Malachi 4 and 5 that I will send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord, right? So the first thing I would like to do is look up the word dreadful. And trust me, there is a reason why I am looking up this word dreadful. So before Elijah, okay, so before the Lord come back, right? Elijah must first come, correct? before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. So in other words, and by the way, to understand Malachi 4 and 5, you must also understand that Malachi 4 and 5 is talking about a prophecy that will happen in the last days. Okay, so are we living in the last days? Yes, we are. Can we prove that Malachi 4 and 5 is talking about the last days? Yes, I can. So it said the coming and dreadful day of the Lord, right? So it says, be afraid. So in other words, when who the world called Jesus, when he makes the second return, right? People are gonna be afraid. People are gonna be in awe. Okay? People are going to be terrified. Now, when who the world called Jesus, when he returned, when, when, when he came on this earth 2,000 years ago, did he bring dread? Did he bring fear? Well, was, was people afraid of, of, of who the world called Jesus 2,000 years ago? No. So Malachi, Malachi chapter four, verse five, is not talking about 2,000 years ago. It's not talking about during the time of Elijah in the book of, uh, uh, of First and Second Kings. It's not talking about those times. When Yahweh, when, when, when who the world called Jesus, his, his real name in the Hebrew is Yahweh Shai. When he came 2000 years ago, he did not come to bring dread on the earth. People, people were not afraid of who the world called Jesus when, 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 when he came on this earth 2,000 years ago, okay? He was he was harmless, like a dove, like it tells you. 
harmless as a dove and, and, and he was wise as a serpent. Okay, he fled from the scribes and Pharisees when, when they tried to kill him on multiple accounts. He fled from them. So who the world called Jesus, when he came 2,000 years ago, he didn't come 2,000 years ago bringing dread, okay? Let's figure out what who, who the world called Jesus, right? Let's figure out what he did when, when he came on the earth 2,000 years ago. This is the book of Luke, chapter 2, verse 48. And when they saw him, they being uh, his parents, Yahawashai's parents, Yahawashai is who the world ignorantly called Jesus. His parents were amazed and his mother said unto him, son, why hast thou thus dealt with us? Behold, thy father, your father, and I have sought thee sorrowing. So they was worried about him because Yahawashai just, just up and, and left. Uh, it says, and he, Yahawashai, said unto them, how is it that ye sought me? Wist ye not that I must be about my father's business? So what, what, what was his business? What was the business of who the world calls Jesus? Because he said that he must be about his father's business, right? Well, what was his business? His business was, was preaching the gospel, teaching in the synagogues, uh, performing miracles, you know, like healing people of the palsy, healing the sick, the disease, casting out devils. Okay, glorifying the Father in heaven, glorifying his Father which is in heaven, glorifying Yahweh, the Heavenly Father. That's what he came to do 2,000 years ago. He also came to be that sacrificial lamb. That's why he died on the cross. So Malachi chapter 4 verse 5 could not be talking about 2,000 years ago. And it's definitely not talking about during the time of Kings, because obviously this was written in the book of Malachi. Malachi uh, takes place way past the time of, of first and second Kings. OK. So let's figure out what Malachi four and five is talking about. OK, because when the Lord returns, it's going to be a great and dreadful day. It's going to be a day of terror. As just like uh, we figured out when I looked up the word dreadful in the uh, blue letter Bible lexicon. So this is the book of Matthew, chapter 14, verse six. But when Herod's birthday was kept, right? It says the daughter of, of Herodias danced before them and pleased Herod, whereupon he promised with an oath to give her whatsoever she would ask. And she, being therefore instructed of her mother, said, Give me here John the Baptist's head and a charger. And the king was sorry, nevertheless, for the oath's sake. And them which sat uh, with him at meat, he commanded it be given her. And he sent and beheaded John in the prison. So this is talking about John the Baptist. Now, the reason why I am bringing this out um, and let me just finish up here before I explain. And his head was brought in a charger and given to the damsel, and she brought it to her mother. So John was uh, beheaded in a prison, right? Now, there's a reason why I am bringing, bringing this out first. Because when we come over here, right? Uh, the book of Matthew, chapter 17, verse 9. And as many as came down from the mountain... Yahweh shall charge them, saying, Tell the vision to no man until the Son of Man be risen from the dead. Okay? And, and here's the point. And his disciples asked him, saying, Why then say the scribes that Elias must first come? And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Elias truly shall first come and restore all things. Okay? But check this out. But I say unto you that Elias is come already now when Yahushua said Elias is come already who was he speaking about he was speaking of John the Baptist can we confirm this yes we can because we and, and uh, let's just read it says and they knew him not so they didn't know that John the Baptist was Elijah right but have done unto him whatsoever they listed 
and, and we figured out what, what they had done to him, right? They, they, he was beheaded. Okay? And, and uh, uh, how do you, how should I figure out about it? Because it was told you how I, I believe in this very same verse, right? Right here. And when Yahweh heard of it. So Yahweh, he 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 knew that his his cousin, John the Baptist, was killed, murdered. You know? His cousin was murdered, beheaded, in prison, right? So they done it to him, whatsoever they listed. Likewise shall also the son of men suffer of them. Then the disciples understood that he spake unto them of John the Baptist. Now, that we have that out of the way, right? Shai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus, he said that, that, that Elias, John the Baptist, right? Because they understood, his disciples understood that he spake of John the Baptist, right? Now, Yahushai said that Elias is come up. So Yahushai, who the world ignorantly called Jesus, he knew that John the Baptist was Elijah, correct? So John the Baptist was already dead when they had this conversation. But then Yahushai went on to say that Elijah truly shall first come and restore all things. Now, you must ask yourself, why would Yahawashai say that Elijah uh, truly shall first come and restore all things? Why would he say this knowing his cousin is dead? Right? Who the world called Jesus, his name is Yahawashai, he knew his cousin was already dead. So why would he say that Elijah shall truly come and restore all things? Why did he say that Elias truly shall first come and restore all things? His, his cousin is dead, right? He, he already knew that his cousin got beheaded in a prison, right? So why, why, knowing that his, knowing that his cousin, John the Baptist, who is Elijah in the reincarnation, right? Uh, 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 well, Elijah, who is John the Baptist in the reincarnation, he knew that, that 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 John the Baptist, who is Elijah, is dead, right? He already knew he was dead, correct? So why would he say that Elijah shall truly first come and restore all things? Why would he say that? Well, what time frame was he talking about when he said that? John the Baptist is already dead, right? Uh, John the Baptist, who is Elijah? So, so, so what time frame was he talking about when he said that Elias shall truly come, which Elias is talking about Elijah, shall first come and restore all things? What time frame is he talking about? He's talking about the last days. Uh-huh. Because after Yahweh's death and then, you know, they're during the dark ages and da-da-da-da-da, you know, slowly we started to leave off from our customs, Right. And, and we started becoming more and more like heathens. Even though we were Israelites, we started becoming more like heathens. So when, when, when Esau rose up into power, right? You know, during the time of, of when, when, when we were calling ourselves Moors and Black and Europeans and da 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 and, you know, and then, you know, we were taken out of power and put into captivity and our heritage was completely beaten out of us, right? You know, our, our heritage of being Israelites were beaten out of us. Um, and then, you know, then, you know, the physical chains came off, yada, yada, yada. And then, uh, you know, and then we started being able to, you know, then the, 19, the 1980s came around and, you know, none of us knew who we were. You know, at first we, 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 were, we were just being called color folks and then, well, at first we were, we were called being called niggers, and then we were being called Negroes. And then we went from that to being called colored folks. And then we went from that to being called African Americans. And then we went from that to being called, uh, what? From, from being called Latinos, being called Mexicans, Native Indians, being called uh, black people. So none of us didn't know who we were, right? And, and I'm, I'm just doing a, a little short time frame here. 
because after Yahweh's death and, and, and you know Jerusalem was taken down and yada 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 all the way up until now right well not not now but all the way up until Abba Bivens so before Abba Bivens came on the scene we were calling ourselves black correct we were calling ourselves African Americans we were calling ourselves Moors Muslims we were calling ourselves African Americans we were calling ourselves Mexicans Puerto Ricans we were calling ourselves Jamaicans, Haitians, Guatemalans, Panamians, Uruguians, uh, Colombians. We were calling ourselves uh, 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 Choctaw Indians, Cherokee Indians, Dominicans. However, when Abba Bevins came on the scene, right? This whole Israelite thing, uh, us coming back to the remembrance of who we are, that started with Abba Bivens. Okay? Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai woke up Abba Bivens and revealed these secrets to him. These secrets. The secrets of what? The mysteries of the scriptures. And guess what? Knowing, knowing that we're Israelites, that's that's a part of the secrets, okay? Because prior to that, we didn't know we were Israelites. We were before Abu Bivens again. We were calling ourselves black. We were we were calling ourselves Haitians, Jamaicans. We were calling ourselves uh, Puerto Ricans, okay? We didn't know who the fuck we were. But guess what? When Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai woke up Abu Bivens and revealed these secrets to him, guess what? Abu Bivens. He, he he passed these revealings down to who? His students. And his students taught it to their students. So how do we know that we're Israelites? How are how are how are we able to determine who the nations are in the scriptures? It started with Abba Bivens. So is Abba Bivens Elijah? I believe he is. I strongly, highly, truly believe that. Abba Bivens is Elijah. Okay. If it was not for for Abba Bivens through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah, we wouldn't know that we're Israelites. Okay. The the the, the, the mysteries of, of you know Babylon, you know. The, that was given to Abba Bivens. You know, Babylon being America, that was given to Abba Bivens, okay? A, a lot of the mysteries in the scriptures, a lot of them, was given to Abba Bivens. And he taught them to his students, and his students taught them to their students. So, who the world called Jesus, his name is Yahawashai. When he said that Elijah truly shall first come and restore all things, it means literally just that. Okay, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai have restored us to our heritage, starting with Abba Bivens. Okay, so I believe that Abba Bivens is Elijah. This truth started with him. The mysteries of, of, of the scriptures and the breakdowns it started with him. It ain't start with nobody else. It started with him. It all started with him. Okay. Matthew 17 verse 11 and Malachi chapter 4 verse 5. These two uh, uh, precepts are talking to, uh, are prophecies that are talking about which will happen in the last days. Okay. Because when Yahweh makes his uh, second return, that great and dreadful day of, 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 of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, that's going to happen in this generation. Okay? And Elijah did come back in this generation. And he did what he was supposed to do. He, he, he restored us to our heritage. And he also gave us uh, the, uh, the breakdowns. Well, you know, I'm not going to say us. You know, but, but, but our teachers... You know, our, 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 our great elders and our teachers, 
are our apostles. Okay? Okay, he gave those breakdowns, the, the, the mysteries, the breakdowns to them, and then and then their, their students taught their students, and, and now they're teaching us. Okay, so I mean, it makes perfect sense. And like I said, if you don't believe in reincarnation, you're not going to understand how Abba Bivens is Elijah and John the Baptist in the reincarnation. You're not going to understand that. Okay, and yeah, I believe that Abba Bivens is John the Baptist. <laughs> okay, Elijah was John the Baptist. Okay, uh, uh, Elijah, and he came back as John the Baptist in the reincarnation, and then when when he died, you know, he came back as Abba Bivens. That makes perfect sense. Okay, it ain't it ain't hard to understand, man. <laughs> but um, there's your answer. Okay, yes. Abba Bivens is Elijah in the reincarnation, okay? And, and and I truly and strongly believe that he was that man that that the Lord said that he would send in the last days to restore all things, to restore us, you know, the, uh, the to to our heritage, you know, to to our customs, the high holy days, the keeping of the high holy days. I believe that all started with Abba Bivens, okay? Our customs, our heritage, you know who we are as a nation of people it all started with Abba Bivens who I truly and personally and strongly believe is Elijah and John the Baptist in the reincarnation okay and you know I broke it down you know uh, 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 Elijah being uh, uh, John the Baptist in the reincarnation and then John the Baptist coming back as uh, Elijah I mean John the Baptist coming back as Abba Bivens in the reincarnation So, Lord's will, Adam Ratazah, this video was edifying to you, brothers. I hope you understood uh, the break, this uh, breakdown, this lesson perfectly. I hope you brothers were fed. You know, I just want to say Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai. Okay. Okay, Brock Brockata Shamka Yahawa Wa Yahweh Shai. This is the year 2020, the year of prophecy. Kwam Yasha Allah. We're almost out of here. It's on to the next one. Shalom. And double honors to our apostles. And also to our elders. You know, uh, and, and also double honors to Abu Bivens. Hey, may 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 that may that, that man rest in peace, man. May that man rest in peace. So definitely double honors to Abu Bivens. Hey, and when Abu Bivens come back, he's gonna be blessed, man. Okay, Abu Bivens is of the elect, and when he come back, he's gonna be sitting on on, on one of the twelve uh, thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Well, I mean, <laughs> Salakia. I'm, uh, I believe I got a little too carried away there. That's not really for me to say. That's for Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai to decide, not me. You know, I'm 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 just a worm on the earth. Don't mind me. But uh, you know, Lord's what this video was edifying to you, brothers. Shalom.